Welcome back. We were just talking earlier about how important staying active is during this time. So here today to talk about keeping fit in quarantine, we've got Chris Suriano, Director of Wellness and Health Promotion at the University of North Dakota. Chris, welcome to the show. It's great to have you with us. You know, I think early on we're like, okay, we're going to switch gears a little bit here on this workout deal. But now about a month in, uh, any suggestions on how we can stay motivated? Well, you know, motivation is always difficult to navigate. Uh, one of the best ways to spark that motivation is to really to find an accountability partner. Uh, that could be somebody that's in your house. Maybe it's a, me a family member that's with you. Uh, perhaps there's a friend that you can Zoom with, maybe communicate over email or on the phone. But, you know, if you're able to share your goals and some of your struggles uh, with somebody else, that's one of the best ways to get the external support that you might need and that extra motivational push. So, you know, we could all use a little help, especially during a time like this. And an accountability partner is something that can be a really helpful tool. And what are some ways to stay physically active now? I mean, it's starting to warm up, so hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier. But any suggestions for at-home kind of stuff? Well, you know, right now what you're finding is there's plenty of resources online. There's a lot of exercise and fitness classes that are available, lots of home exercise programs. But one of the things that I would encourage is just to simply get out and take a walk, you know, ensure that you're properly distancing with others who might be doing so. But as you said, it's getting nicer out in North Dakota. Getting out and walking is gonna be such a, a, an important key. Any type of physical activity, maybe getting out and preparing your garden. Um, we know that phys physical activity has some power. So getting those lungs and the heart beating and those muscles moving, that's gonna be you know, that's that's really critical right now. And so it's easy to kind of want to stay in that house while it's still, you know, the in-betweens in terms of the temperatures. But, you know, get your body out there, try to work yourself up to maybe a 30-minute walk outside. And, you know, that's going to be a key to maybe get you going and, and kind of in a, a little bit more of a routine. You know, and right now with everything going on, obviously our immunity is so important. So talk about the impact that exercise has on uh, building up your immune system. Well, you know, keeping active is going to, again, it's going to keep your muscles strong. It's going to keep that heart healthy. Um, you know, it's it's all of those things, you know, much more than just physical activity, but it's going to be getting the appropriate nutrition. It's going to be getting, you know, a good night's sleep. So all of those things are going to contribute to a healthier you that are going to help boost that immune system. And, you know, what better time than right now than to really try to keep that immune system at its peak? Um, incorporating a multi-variety of different healthy living approaches is, is very essential right now. One of those keys obviously is eating. So any suggestions yeah. on what we can, we can be doing to uh, eat healthy? Well, it, what was interesting, I just read a story out of the LA Times and saw one poll research study. They showed that individuals, the average American is con, uh, consuming upwards of eight hours a day of entertainment. Uh, streaming and that type of thing. And so what do we do typically when we're entertained? We're snacking a lot. So right now is just a really great time to focus on trying to incorporate a variety of nutrient dense foods into your diet and not just for meals, but, you know, for snacking, you know, get away from the comfort foods of the snacks like cookies, crackers, chips, and try to incorporate those fruits, vegetables, nuts, lean proteins. All of those things are going to help provide you with the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that your body needs to you know, really help boost that immune system. So uh, try to incorporate those nutrient dense foods into your diet is gonna be a key element to this. I've got about a minute left, sir. I'll give you the last word. Anything else you wanna share or add? Well, we, um, you know, we have been working hard at the University of North Dakota. We have set up a website at und.edu slash wellness online where there's just a trove of resources that are around mental health, physical activity, healthy eating, and it's accessible to anybody. And I encourage you to, you know, just be sure that you're moving and take a look at all the resources available to you right now and, and you know, to do your best. Chris, thank you so much for the time and the insight. We really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. All right, stay with us. We come back. Catalyst Medical Center is going to be joining us. Stick around for that.